Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back for some more Pathfinder Kingmaker on Las Islanti and Unfair. So, we are currently in Pitax. Uh, in the previous episode we were successful in convincing pretty much everybody um, from Pitax to challenge Iroveti. So the Thieves Guild, the Bards from the Academy, the Temple Guard, the Old Family, the City Guard, they will all help us fight Iroveti. Again, this isn't necessary, but if I can do it, might as well do it. Uh, and we also met some pirates on the port, which gave us a quest that's not actually marked as a quest, funny enough, to try and retrieve a grimoire from a guy in the middle of nowhere. And the middle of nowhere really is a location. It's not just me saying it's in the middle of nowhere. It really is literally the middle of nowhere. So we're going to go there and we're going to try and get this book. It's also not necessary because I'm not actually going to give the book to the pirate. Uh, but, you know, it's just a little side quest we can do, so I'm going to do it. Without a doubt. And we will have, I think, an athletics check over here. Oh, dinosaur bones, nice. Because there will be a door in the area that we have to traverse. And you can open that... You can open that door simply by using the key that we got from speaking to the other pirate. This one here, a key inscribed with letter B. Or you can pass the checks and, you know, just kind of force your way in the door. Which is right here. So basically, I think, uh, from the wiki, the athletics check is a difficulty of 40. Which means we have to improve it on you a little bit. We're going to take out our armor to make it a little bit better. I think I also have some gloves that give me... What are you using, by the way? The steady hand. You don't need this anymore. Because you have this. Yeah, okay. I don't need this, so I'm going to just swap this. Um, I think... This right here, okay. Athletic skill checks, three, uh, plus three. I also want to swap your gloves. I nearly forgot about this. You want the ones that give acid damage. <clears throat> so we're looking at 34 athletics. Uh, we can buff this up with legendary proportions. I am spinning a bone, but I do prefer spinning the bone and passing the check than failing it. We're up to 37. We get a plus two from our um, Blessing of the Faithful. Oh, we're also missing... We are also missing Good Hope. Okay, Good Hope. So right now we're at 39 still. Hmm. Weird. Um... But you can get Eagle Soul from your axe, which will give you more strength, right? Yeah, 43. Oh, this is why you were sickened the other day. Uh, okay, I need to forget about this. Uh, using the Eagle Soul from the item will make uh, somebody that's not lawful good, I think, sickened. Thankfully, you can get rid of it uh, with Calming Touch. So now you should have all of the bonuses and none of the penalties. Yep, perfection. So 41 athletics. I will, not. I will also just buff him with this. And my persuasion is at 48. Okay, we are more than fine. Let's go. A solid door blocks your entrance. The owner clearly doesn't care for invited guests. So yeah, like I said, you can also use the key. You can try trickery or you can break down the door. I'm going to go for the one that gives me the most experience, the highest one. Something makes a crunching sound, either the door or your shoulder, but the lock gives way and the door quietly swings open. 22,000 experience. Quite nice. <laughs> we gained entrance to Blakemore's hideout. And we are now going to have a conversation with the gentleman. So for this, uh, I still want to give myself as many bonuses as possible. A large and broad man turns to you, trying to smooth his thick, tussled hair. His deep voice could have belonged to a giant. Hey, who are you? And again, I'm just gonna go for the highest checks every single time. 
I'm someone you better treat with more, with more respect. 22,000 again. So, someone important has come to visit good old Blakemore. Well, I shall be a most gracious host. How can I help you? What are you doing here? This humble dwelling is my workshop. It's where I'm creating my masterpiece. The Cyan Majestic Grimoire, a calligraphic... Or a calligra... Calligraphic? Yeah. Work of art. The client who ordered is my good friend, Captain Martin. Oh, he must be getting so impatient by now. I'm so far behind schedule. I just want the grimoire to be perfect, you see. And we're gonna try and rush this, so perhaps time to finish the grimoire. Blakemore stares at the scattered pages with ill-concealed yearning. The book is almost finished. It's a phenomenal piece of work. All it needs is a couple of alterations. Everything must be perfect. Blakemore's voice trembles. But if you could come back in a week, the book should be ready by then. I have almost no doubt about it. Now, this is the part where it's important to mention something here. We have all of these checks, okay? Uh, we can pass every single one of them, I think. Yeah, we can also pass Arcana. We have 41 bonus on uh, Juby. Uh, but what's important to say is, if you go for Intimidation, or Diplomacy, or even if you just attack, right? You will get the book, but it's going to be a weaker version of the book. If you go for Knowledge Arcana, you can help him finish the book. You are going to get the stronger version of the book, which is basically an item that allows you to summon a Monavic Deva, which is a, a cool summon, I suppose, but not something I'm really interested in. in. I would never use it. Uh, but what's also important to state is, if you go for this check, and if you pass it, you will help him finish the book, you will get the stronger version of the book, you, if you deliver the book to Captain Martin, you can also pick it up later after defeating a, an enemy in the main quest. So if you like the book, that's something you can do. But if you go this way, enemies are going to spawn in this area. Uh, sorry, let me just go back. If you do this, eight hours of game time will pass, which essentially translates into all of your buffs are gone. <laughs> okay, that's very important here. And enemies are going to spawn. And these enemies are an especially nasty fight. It's a very, very nasty fight. And it's especially nasty since you are unbuffed. It is something that I will say right now. I will never advise anybody to try and do on Last Aslanti unfair. Okay? Because it's most likely a death sentence. And as much as I would like to show off the fight here to kind of make this you know, woohoo, challenging and I'm so good for defeating the enemies, I am not gonna risk my entire run on this fight. It's not worth it, it's extremely dangerous, and yeah, it's, 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 just, it's just not worth it. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Uh, if you want an adventure, you can try and do this, uh, but if you are playing on Last Aslanti and especially on Unfair, don't do it. Don't do it. What you get from this is you, if you defeat a very powerful enemy, I believe he drops a plus 5 enchanted axe. I think it's also axiomatic and keen. It's, it's a good axe, uh, but not something that I need or will use, so it's not something for my party, uh, which again is just a reason to say it's not worth it for me. So I'll for Intimidate is going to give me the same experience here. That won't do. Give me the book immediately. 22,000? Blakemore hands the book and turns away, bitterly offended and grumbling. Oh, just take it. What should I care? Ruffians. Breaking in, making threats. Uh, and I'm just gonna clear the dialogue in case there's something else, but I don't think there is. Uh, okay, so... Just some lore about himself. Ah, he, he actually says here. So if you ask why do you stay here, are you hiding from someone? Uh, my numerous fans, I ended up in hell, took the wrong portal, long story short, I found myself in hell. The devil, Sidoket, this is the big enemy that spawns if you do the other option, uh, was chasing me. And all I had to fight it off was the sack of low quality tobacco, the flute of the hundred sea winds, a deaf mute cobalt servant, and the sulfur which laid in such abundance all around. So yeah, this is the big bad guy. Uh, but not only is this guy... Um, a formidable opponent, he will also spawn a bunch of archers, which will very, very easily and very quickly kill off your backline. Um, 
And you also have to kill him like, I think, three times or something, which is not pleasant. Okay. So, our options are done here. We got the book. I want to check out the book. We got Black and Blackmore's Grimoire. So, Conjuration, usable item, lasts one round per level. And this spell summons a furious squirrel swarm. <laughs> it appears when it designates and acts according to its initiative check rolls. It attacks your opponents to the best of its ability. So, I do like furious squirrels. I guess I can give this to Cordampina <laughs> to have some fun with it. But yeah, so this is the weak version, you, sp you spawn Squirrels, and the best version gives you the Monavic Deva. We will loot the area. See what else is about. A lot of containers, actually. Dinosaur bones, nice. Without a, doubt. a weird magical thing, obviously of faraway origin. Nothing noteworthy, thus far at least. There are many roads to success. A rusty metal thing. Did it without breaking oh, it. damn. Difficulty 4? Really? For 3 unique looking items? <clears throat> that, that seems weird to me. The Binding of the Prince. Three times per day, the wearer may throw this ammo to an enemy. If the target fails a DC 24 reflex saving throw, it becomes ensnared by the chain. The ensnared creature takes a minus four penalty to dexterity, a minus two penalty to both AC and attack, and takes bludgeoning damage each round. Additionally, each time the wearer takes damage, the chain inflicts half as much damage on the ensnared creature. This has the potential to be awesome. DC 24. <clears throat> Do I want to try this on somebody? Oh, by the way, get your armor back on. Uh, where is it? Arm here. I kind of want to try it on... On Valerie, I guess. I don't think I've ever used this item, honestly. I think I've seen it a bunch of times, but I always felt like uh, the DC-24 reflexing throw is not, not that high. And I usually prefer to have this on, but given that we're going to be using... Um, what's the word? Um, bark skin. I think I'm okay. Charlton's Locket. This locket makes all zero-level arcane spells cast by the weather become empowered, extended, reach, and maximized. So... And this might seem like not that interesting, because what essentially this means is zero-level arcane spells, we're talking about cantrips here. Uh, the place where this is quite cool is if you are playing an Eldritch Archer, which means every shot you make with the infused um, cantrip is going to have this empowered extended reach and maximize, which can deal a lot of damage, actually. And finally, Robe of False Death. The wearer of this robe gains immunity to critical hits, but suffers a minus six penalty to constitution. Uh, it's it's tough. It's tough. But I, I prefer my constitution, I think. <laughs> okay, so yeah, unique items. Good. I can see my destination. The necklaces in particular seem to be the ones with the, the highest potential upside. Now, the question is, will I ever remember to use it, though? I can't even see the image. It's so dark. Ah, by the way, I've been meaning to do this. Um, sound. Yeah, the voice volume is at maximum. It's just Nairisa that speaks very slowly, uh, very low. Okay. Well, can't do anything about that, sorry. Okay, this is done. And like I said, we're doing this just to get the book and to get the experience from the skill checks, but I'm not even actually going to deliver the book. Because I get more experience from not giving the book and going for a different option. I'm also going to rest. 
Uh, I don't think I care about... About skill checks for the area I'm going to. I'm trying to think if I do or if I don't. I don't think I do. Is there something else I might want? Plus four bonus to... Don't have a rock egg. Don't have that one. Plus one bonus to AC. It's very rare that I actually use different foods. But given where we're going, it might actually be handy. This would be useful, I believe. I will just take saving throws. <clears throat> Whatever. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> uh, let's just rest. <laughs> Actually, wait, wait. I want to check my spells. I do not want to mess this up. I feel like I want another resist energy. So I will take you out. I'm not using that often. Okay. So here I think we're fine. I will probably not need this where I'm going now, but I'll just keep it like this. Or I can take a Divine Power for fun. Eh, sure. I always forget to use it anyway. <laughs> uh, I think I'm fine with this setup here. I could also just get an additional True Seeing. Uh, do you have True Seeing? You do, but only one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take this out and get some more through seeing here. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. With the exception potentially of... of what? Taking this out and bringing in... Angelic Aspect? Or some more. I'll, I'll, go like, I'll go like this. This is also fine. Okay. <clears throat> so rest. Correct. Okay. Begin resting. I must give air. So yeah, let's go get <clears throat> a bunch more experience for doing nothing. <laughs> I guess for having high high skill checks. Do I have trash? I do. Uh, sure. So basically, I mentioned this in the previous episode as well. Uh, but with the Grimoire, we can talk with this guy and either give it to him and get the rewards. Or you can just side with First Mate Weller and tell him to give control of the pirates to him. And that's going to be the one that gives us the most experience. So I'm going to be going for that. Ah, and now the innkeeper is outside of the box there. Okay, good. So, I need persuasion as high as possible. Which means best writing robe. Perfect. We are at 46. I am gonna get, as usual, good hope. I'm not bothering with drinking a potion of greater heroism because I don't need that much bonuses. Given that we have a, a so, a, such a high baseline persuasion. So, plus 48 will already be more than enough. But I'm still going to buff with Let this as well. Hesitate. Actually, I'm going to buff when I'm closer. Make sure I have it in time. Alright. And let's speak with him. 
A tall, confident man stands before you, wearing a fancy hat and a charming smile. Ah, visitors. And whom do I have the pleasure of addressing? My name is Captain Martin. There have been so, far, so few new faces at the tavern recently, for some reason. Can I be of any use to you? And basically, we can talk to him, ask some stuff, right? Like, for example, this. Doesn't matter. He tells us about the grimoire. True. You can say, I have it, take it, or I have the grimoire. I'm not giving it to you. Uh, but we're gonna go for this one here. Hand over command to Weller before the crew hangs you. I will just confirm this is the option I want, but I think it is. Yep, <coughs> correct, it's the one. So, hand over command to Weller before the crew hangs you. Martin smiles uncomprehendingly, and you hear Weller's footsteps behind. Sir, let's use without bloodshed. Give up your command, you'll be, death you'll be the death of the crew. Weller? Is this a mutiny? You're kidding me. My crew would never betray me. I'm the best captain in all the seas. Right, crew? And we have three different ones. I'm again gonna go for the highest difficulty class here. So Intimidate 45. You're a coward, not a captain. How long have you been sitting here ashore? Is this what a real captain would do? 61,000. The pirates smile ravenously. Your words have piqued their interest. You think to turn my own crew against me? You will fail in that. Ahoy, sea wolves! Didn't I always look after you? Didn't I always make sure you get we get glorious booty? We're gonna bluff and lie. Who are you trying to fool? Everybody knows that you're, pick, uh, you're pocketing the best part of the booty. Weller told me everything. 61,000 more. The pirates begin to murmur, looking angry at the captain. And finally, Martin puts his hand on his weapon. You'll stop making plans on my ship, Cordant. Stop this mutiny. Crewman, arrest Weller. And here is the part where if you want to get as much experience as possible but also the rewards you would just back off you would just basically say that's a joke give him the grimoire and continue the quest as normal but i want the experience instead i don't care about the reward it's a rapier it's a cool rapier but again not something that i'm using uh, so i'm fine with not getting that intimate again best not cross swords with me whoever touches well is a dead man 61,000 more, and somebody leveled up. Martin freezes, not knowing what to say. Silence falls for a moment, and then one of the pirates hisses an incomprehensible seller's swear through his teeth. Martin looks at the seamen around him, bewildered. The first mate makes a sign, and the captain, apparently now former captain, is carted away. First mate, now Captain Weller, shakes your hand emotionally. You've saved the prestigious. Now we can finally set sail like normal pirates. Hold on, I remember what I promised. We'll put an end to our careers as sea dogs and become an honest merchant vessel. The prestigious will sail henceforth under your banner. And we also get the kingdom effect of economy, relations and espionage plus 5. I don't believe it's permanent, but it's, it's a good buff nonetheless. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> so you can see why I prefer to get the, um, the experience, because it's a lot of experience. We do fail the quest that never showed up on my quest log uh, I think I would only get the quest if I spoke with him which I hadn't done before okay it's fine so yeah we fell the quest don't care got a lot of experience um, with that I think well we're at an inn everybody leveled up so I think I'm just gonna take the time now to go to the level ups and I'll be back in a second. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, starting with Valerie. I believe I've got what I needed from from the fighter levels right now. Uh, we got Tower Shield Specialist for the two bonus to attack. Basically, removing the penalty from using uh, Tower Shields. So, anything other than that, I don't feel like I really need. So, I'm just going to give some more points into Bard. Get some more spells. Get some longer duration on our buffs. We also get Inspire Greatness, which I'm not sure I'm going to use. Uh, we can Inspire Greatness all allies within 30 feet, granting extra fighting capability. Uh, we get two bonus hit dice, so more HP for everybody. The commensurate number of temporary hit points apply... No, 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 okay. A two competence bonus on attack rolls and one competence bonus on fortitude saves. It's a cool buff, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then for the skills, I went for Athletics, Mobility and Perception. For the spells, I'm taking Great Invisibility, because out of what we have here, I think it's going to be the best choice. Uh, 
Again, I could try to go for break enchantment, but I never use this, man. Uh, yeah, and we also have to make a cast to the level check against the DC. Yeah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Crit Invis. So finally, we just got Inspired Greatness, Crit Invisibility, and our ninth level in Bard. Next up, Rigongar. So, for Mr. Rigongar, there's actually something to be said about the choice of levels here. So, we basically have been leveling up in Magus, we've been leveling up in Dragon Disciple up level 4, and we got something very important from the Magus, which was the, um, the plus for Arcane Weapon as well as the Arcane Heavy Armor. We do still need to find a good Heavy Armor for, for him, or I can just give him Valerie's Heavy Armor once she swaps to Medium, which will happen somewhat soon. Um, but anything other than this, I think is kind of not that necessary. Uh, so, one thing we could do is, I can keep going on Magus, which I will, to see if, you know, if I can make use of this Magus Arcana uh, when we get to another level, which hopefully we can get level 19. I think we can. Uh, but the other option would be to go for Vivisectionist. Because by having just a single point in Vivisectionist, we would get the Mutagen, which would give us a plus 4 to Strength, which is already very, very good for him. And we would also get Sneak Attack, which is just more damage on top. So, I think I could either go for Magus here to continue, or I could dip into Vissectionist. I'm gonna make the choice of continuing with Magus, see if I can make use of this Magus Arcana on the next level. If I see on the next level that it's not worth it, I might just take Vissectionist right there. We'll see. So... On the Magus, I keep going for Athletics and Perception. For my spells, doesn't matter too much what we get on level 3, because there's nothing really that I need. I guess maybe Stinking Cloud is better than, than Slow, just to stack some checks on the enemies. And on level 6, I'm going to be taking Chain Lightning, because uh, Rigongar is Lightning-based, and everything else doesn't really do much for me at this point. So yeah, Chain Lightning here. Uh, I could also take I could also take one of these to free up a spell slot on Cordampina. But I don't Let me check. I don't think it's necessary. So we're casting all of this. Actually maybe I will. Yeah, because freeing up a slot here means an additional heal. Or a Chains of Light. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, sold. I'm gonna swap my spell selection. So, Magus, uh, Athletics and Perception, and Stinking Clouds. And I guess I can give you Strength because it makes more sense on you. Okay. This is done. Next up, Knock Knock. Okay, so Mr. Knock Knock will finally get his level 6 in Alchemist, or view sections, I should say. Uh, for skills, the usual ability, trickery, stealth. Abilities, we're gonna get Feral Wings. So, while under the effects of Feral Mutagen, the Alchemist gains bat like wings that give him a plus 3 dodge bonus to AC against melee attacks and immunity to the effects of difficult terrain. So, essentially, 3 more AC is what we want from this. Immune to difficult terrain is just a bonus added on top. Spells don't matter, I'm not casting spells with him. So, in total, level 12 Knife Master, level 6 Vivisectionist, taking Feral Wings here. Next up, Cordampina. So, actually, Cordampina was a very, very quick uh, level up, and it's something that I'm kind of curious about what is the best option. So, anybody who has more knowledge on, uh, on clerics maybe can help me out here. And I guess my question is, if we're at the point where we now have level 9 spells, is there much of a point in continuing to level up in Cleric? Or should I just get some more points on something different? This is something I've thought about for a while, but I, I've never really delved too much into it. Uh, just for safety, I'm going to keep going in Cleric. I'm assuming... By keeping the progression in Cleric, I might get some more spell slots, something like that. And if not, I'm just getting more caster level, which also helps. 
So skills are the usual three. Spells we get nothing new. So in total, just an additional level in Ecclesia Turch. Moving on to my main character. Okay, so on my main character I'm gonna continue giving him points in Sorcerer. We want more spells, we want more spell difficulty class, we want more caster level, so everything is good with the Sorcerer. For my skills I go <coughs> Mobility, Perception and Persuasion. For abilities, we get a Bloodline feat selection from our Sorcerer tree, right? We get this over here. And you get to choose from um, a specific uh, list. Why is this not recommended, by the way? Strange, because this is actually good. But yeah, I think the main choices here are going to be either toughness, if you want some more hit points. You could get skill focus in either of these if you are using your main character for it. Uh, quicken spell is a choice, but I prefer to use rods for this effect. So I'm going to go for improved initiative. So getting a plus 4 bonus on initiative checks will mean that we are likely to act sooner than enemies in combat. And that can very easily turn the tide of a fight in, you know, if you can just toss out a spell before the enemy can actually do something. So I will take this one here. And my spell specialization, I'm going to give it to Hellfire Ray. Because Hellfire Ray goes up to a maximum of 3 rays at 19 uh, caster level which we can achieve by having spell specialization. Because right now we are at uh, 17 caster level, so plus 2, 19. For my spells, on level 7 I am taking Firebrand, as I had mentioned previously, which will make my friends immune to my fire damage. They will also deal more fire damage with their attacks, so overall just a good spell to have. And from level 8 I am taking Sea Mantle. So defensive spell, Essentially is going to give me a plus 8 cover bonus to AC, plus 4 bonus on reflex saves, and immunity to fire. So just overall a good spell to have defensively. Uh, my other options aren't really that necessary. Uh, I guess at most you could consider Greater Shout, but it's a cone effect which is kind of tough to use in um, real time with pause. It's not party friendly and the damage isn't that great. It can stun though if they fail the, the save. But yeah, I think these are the ones I like the most. So in total we grow claws. Woohoo. We have the spell magic. This is from our, our bloodline. Improved initiative and then firebrand and sea mantle. And finally, Jubilost. And on Jubilost, as usual, we keep going in Alchemist level 18. For my discovery, I'm going to go for the Greater Cognitogen, which means when we drink it, we are not going to get a plus 4 bonus to Mental Score ability. Uh, we're going to get a plus 6 on a main one, and then a plus 4 on a second one. We also get more Natural Armor bonus, we go up to plus 4, and that's basically it, but it's a, it's a very nice boost. Uh, skills, the usual mobility... Um, knowledge Arcana, Knowledge World, Perception, Use Magic Device. And for spells I just took Legendary Proportions because there's nothing else that I really need here. So this is my lineup. In total, Critical Cognitogen, which gives us all of these to choose from, and Legendary Proportions. With that, <laughs> let me just swap out my Cognitogen here. What is this? Extend. Um, so, I should also have you guys available... To choose from, uh, I guess I can maybe just remove that and do this. So you go there, and I would want—I probably want int and wisdom. Yep, there we go, and that's our level ups done. I in terms of spell slots, do I have something extra? I do have something extra, nice. So an additional level 8 spell would mean... Would mean... I guess I can give you this. And an additional level 9 spell as well, awesome. So one more heal mass, but uh, I think this can have real potential honestly. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the safe option here with the mass heals 
and take one of these. And Juby lost. Okay, good. Uh, I guess. Okay. So, one thing I'm curious about, by the way, is that the game was telling me that it was not recommended to take Blind Fight. I was just trying to double check if I had it for some reason, but... No, I don't. Okay. With that said, <clears throat> I'm gonna try and have a rest here, just to get our new spells going. Uh, can I rest here? You can if you have the coin, if you don't, well, I'm not really going to share. 10 gold, sure. I can give you 10 gold, my friend. Focus on the gold. And it is time to go and play with the Pitax Palace. So for this, we want the main square, and we are going to want to buff up. Alrighty, so let me just check. New spells, I can place you over there. What's new? I should also change up my... my mod, right? Because I want to swap something around. Because now you are casting this and that. Which means you no longer need to cast this. I should have swapped before I rested. That's my mistake. So this goes away. And I bring in... What do I bring in? Do I actually want to try Dispel Magic? I could. And just go like that. Okay, so let's <coughs> spend some time here. Fixing our buffs. So medium duration. I will want to swap my mass strength. Okay, Bull Strength Mass, edit. The caster is now Regongar. Finish. Perfect. Uh, what else? Just save this before I forget. Ah, I also want a new spell. The caster is Regongar. And the spell is a level 6 spell. Cat's Grace. Alright, and the ca and the target is going to be the caster itself. Finish. Okay, so Cat's Grace Mass, we got the string coming from him as well. Um, I also want a new cast from Cordon Pina. Level 8, I think. Oh, it's not showing up here. Wait, is it level 7? No. Six. Ah, true scene. Wait, I do need to, to change something up on this. Okay, for now let's just cancel this one. Uh, let's save the queue. And let's see. I know I took more bark skins. So who doesn't have bark skin currently? It's not the easiest thing to navigate this thing, is it? I'll just look for the name Jubilost. Jubilost, Rigongar, Rigongar, Valerie, Rigongar, Rigongar, Cordampina, Rigongar, Cordampina, 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 Jesus Christ. Cordampina, Cordampina, Cordam. Spell not memorized. Oh, right, I can remove this. What about this one? Yeah, it can also go away. Okay, perfect. Uh, shield. Mirror image, more shield. Cat's grace, this can also go away. What is bark skin, dude? Oh, but bark skin is a long duration. I'm dumb. Okay, so Bardskin is being cast on Knock Knock, Rigongar, Valerie, and the Leopard. So now I have 6 instead of 4. 
Which means... I can also get it... This is wrong. It should target him as well. And it is. But not, not that, sorry. Oh. So I want... This is weird. Uh, I guess I'm gonna give it to myself and Cordon Pina. So knock knock, Rigong, Art of Valerie, Cordon, Cordon Pina, and Cordon Pina's pet. Perfect. <clears throat> Save queue. What else? This, this is level 8. Let me unpause in case the, the, the mod is bugging out with the pause. So I want a new spell. Caster. Cordon Pina. Spell. Level 8. Aha! So it's working. Angelic Aspect Greater. Uh, the target is the Caster. Okay. Finish. New spell. Caster. Cordon Pina. Spell. Level 8. Frightful Aspect. <clears throat> target. Caster. Finish. New spell. Um, actually, cancel. Save Q. Save. How long does this last? Because I think it lasts for a long time. No, it's medium. Okay. So let's get Sea Mantle as well. New spell. Caster. Cordumped. Spell. Level 8. Sea Mantle. Target is the caster. Finish. Save Q. Save. Okay, so what else? So you are done. I always did what is right. Therefore I became righteous. Does it mean whatever I do now becomes right? Because I am Ah, mind blank. Okay. Uh, this one actually lasts for four hours, correct? Yes, yeah, so it's a long duration one. Long duration, <clears throat> new spell, caster, cordon pina, spell, level 9, mind blank communal, perfect. Target can be self, finish, save queue. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, the other thing I have to change is my true seeing, because true seeing is currently only being applied to knock knock, I believe. I would like to give it to more people. So, in this case, we have to change our medium duration. We're going to look for true seeing. Which is never an easy thing to do. So, Frightful Aspect, Angelic Aspect, that's great. Magical Vestment. To knock, knock, Frightful Aspect. Wait, is this repeated? I already had it. Okay, remove this one then. So sea Mantle, Angelic Aspect, Cat's Grace, Magical Vestment, Frightful Aspect, Beast Shape, Animal Growth, Bull Strength Mass, Bears and Dresden's Mass, Walls is a Mass, True Seeing. So, I'm buffing Knock Knock, I'm also going to buff Rigongar with her, so finish, and I'm going to get a new spell from a different caster, which is going to be Juby. And the spell is a level 5, I think. True Seeing. And the targets are going to be Valerie and Cordant. Finish. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I think everything is settled. I can skip these for now and decide later. Let us not and I have four death wards. I guess I can add you in as well. Why not? So new spell. <coughs> Caster, Cordon Pina. Spell, level four. Death, death ward. And the targets are going to be... 
I think you, 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 and not you. No, 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 not, not you. <laughs> God damn it. Cordampina, spell for Death Ward, target, character name, Valerie, Regon, Guard, Knock, Knock, and Cordant. There we go. Uh, so, finish. Save queue. Save. Do you also have Death Ward memorized? No, because you need these. Okay. I think we're fine. <clears throat> Let's go. Remove your armor. Long duration. Buff. Okay, so two Bard skins. Three. Four. Five. Uh. Is anybody missing the bark skin? Bark skin? Bark skin? Bark skin? Bark skin? Bark skin? So it's correct, right? Yeah, it's correct. Medium duration. Okay, things are working correctly. There is a lot of buffs, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's redundant. That is redundant. Uh, let me check something here. So you have currently frightful aspect and angelic, or, uh, frightful aspect and angelic aspect greater. Okay. So we don't need. We also have mind blank, perfect, but we don't need angelic aspect anymore. I had forgotten about that because we have greater, obviously. Beast shape and all seeing species. Mirror image, <coughs> feather stamp, good hope. Shield, mirror image, blur, blur, effortless armor, bless, enlarge person, shield of faith, magic fang. Okay, angelic aspect. Delete. Oh wait! Crap, because I also have one for my, my main character. Oh god. Did I delete the right one? Uh. Damn it, man. C cancel. Beam duration. Ugh. Sorry about this. Death War True Seeing Sea Mantle, Angelic Aspect Gator. Cat's Grace, Magic Vestment, Frightful Aspect, Beast Shape, Animal Growth, Bull Strength, Bear's Endurance, Owl's Wisdom, True Seeing, Expeditious Retreat, Mirror Image, Feather Step Mask, Good Hope, Shield, Mirror Image, Blur, Blur, Effortless Armor, Bless, Enlarged Person, Shield of Faith, Magic Fang, Angelic Aspect. So, Cordon Pina buffing Cordon Pina. This is the one to delete. Okay. But where is mine? I don't have mine, really. I had forgotten about this. Or do I just not have it and I'm being silly? Okay, wait. Save queue. Save. Close. Knowledge is the key to victory. No, I do have it. I just don't have it in the mod. Okay. So... New spell, caster, myself, spell, level 5, angelic aspect, target, caster, finish, save queue, save, done. I'm up for an adventure. Get... <sighs> okay, there's something else I need. Archon's aura. 
I need uh, Blessing of Luck and Resolve Mass as well. God damn it. New spell. Caster. Cordampina. Uh, don't remember the spell level. This one. Okay. Target. Caster. Save queue. Save. Close. Perfect. So, let us extend the haste here. And go. Well, hello, King. I'm glad to see that despite your utter failure as a ruler, you did listen to the voice of reason and made the only right decision. Give me your crown and swear allegiance to me. I promise I shall rule your lands wisely and mercifully. I don't think I ever tried giving him the crown. I imagine you would either just lose the game or then something weird happens. But no, Idoveti, I didn't come to give you my crown. I came to take yours. Citizens of Free Pitax, our city is in danger. The enemy is at the gate. To arms! For our freedom, for your king. Your Highness, I won't let them near you. Students of the Academy, we've suffered enough under Inovetti's tyranny. For King Cordant, I stabbed you with my own heart, bitch. <laughs> Listen to me, students. Today we'll be rid of that old buzzard. For King Cordant, I didn't remember she killed the old one. That's not something I appreciate, but okay. City guard, normally politics is none of our business unless the king is destroying the city. Arrest Idoveti. All the while our buffs are running out. <laughs> Old families, founders of Pitax, today is the day of our reckoning. Destroy Idoveti for King Cordant. Make Calistri damn Idoveti the blasphemous usurper. Temple guards to battle for King Cordant. So we have a lot of friends here. Thieves Guild, Iroveti has betrayed us. Let's take his head. And I think that this is the only thing that changes if you bring people to your side, is that the fight, uh, you have less enemies basically, but it doesn't matter too much, you can just kill them all. It's whatever your preference is, you can do whatever you like. Um, let's not have you tossing bombs just yet, because you're gonna need them later. And just kill this guy. Oh, more people come out. Okay. Guard Captain. Oh my gods. Uh -huh. You were not successful, my friends. We challenge Iroveti, and now we have to fight Iroveti in the palace. Uh, let's take the loot. We have some special stuff from the Guard Captain. I say special, I mean just not what the other ones have. And from Stefano Mosconi. You can actually get his gear earlier on if you decide to kill him in that random event with the trolls. Uh, did we get something special, actually? Let me just check. So we get a plus three, plus four, plus four, uh, plus two. Lightning Duelist. This plus one dagger grants to the plus fight plus four insight bonus to initiative rolls and the plus one dodge bonus to AC. You know what? <clears throat> I kinda like this. Yeah? <clears throat> ah, this one also gives me initiative. That's the reason why I had it. Okay. But this is a plus four. It also gives me dodge. And if I couple it with this one, I get even more dodge. I would go up to 40 AC. Not 
that it makes much of a difference. I'm not tanking, but... I kind of like it. For the initiative, especially. Dude, if I ever forget to not... To not send him into attack... I'm, I'm gonna suffer. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you have the Castigator's Cloak, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna test out the daggers and see. And let's go in. I do know that, it, that is, um, his AI is turned off by default. But, yeah. Sometimes I just select my entire party and send them to attack and I can't do it anymore. More Pitax Wardens, Knowledge Arcana. Do you guys even fight me? I don't think you do. Look, it's King Cordant. Yes. What a coincidence. Do you know how much Nuvetti promised for his head? How much? Tell me. Can we handle him? He doesn't look like he'll go down easy. Don't be a coward. We'll manage. Hey, you. In the name of Kigiroveti, surrender! Dude, you should have listened to the first sensible opponent in the game. <clears throat> so you will die. Now, I want to check this. Initiative roll of 23. Yeah, we get plus 14 from modified. 14? Ah, dexterity counts, I'm guessing. Yeah, modifiers 3. Okay, let's do some science and math here. So 14 would be plus 6, plus 4, 10, and then plus 4 from the feet, 14. Okay, so it's working and stacking correctly. Okay, nice. I do like it. Um, we will just murder everyone. Who are you aiming at? Why do people have such a, a high priority target on the Cleric? I know kill the healer first is a thing, but not here. Oh, and you guys are aiming at Juby as well. What the hell, man? Okay, let's back up. Uh, everybody else. Murder. Okay, that's, that's, God, they're, they're still going. Dude. What do I do with you annoying pricks? I think I just kill. Level 9. Maximize the chain lightning here then. Okay. Killed a bunch of them. Don't shoot me! Aha! I think Jubilost killed them actually. Or Cordampina. Uh, yeah, so your AI is off. You can go back to bombs. And let's check out this Knowledge Arcana here. Child's play. This massive statue of King Irovetti appears to be made of pure gold and inlaid with gems. Closer examination reveals that it's made of bronze and decorated with an illusion spell. <laughs> Cheap bastard. Okay. Pick this up. I can see and I think we're gonna finish our episode here. I also have to just put something here before I forget. Um, because... Let me see. So, Inspire Courage gives me a morale bonus. Oh no, sorry. It gives me a competence bonus on attack and weapon rolls. So we are getting a plus two to attack and damage. Okay. And this gives me a plus two on attack, not damage. Okay, so we lose out on damage if we go for this. But we get two bonus hit dice. Dude, 
do they stack with um, false life greater? So 29, 187. It does. Okay. Well, it could be cool. Uh, but yeah. We're gonna end our episode here, my friends. We have just entered the Pitax Royal Palace, and in the next episode, I'm gonna try and clear everything in here. Um, exciting area. There's a lot to do in this area. There are some uh, particularly tough fights here. One of which I am actually quite afraid of, which are some, which are some spellcaster uh, brothers, I think, or friends, or whatever. Uh, a lot of cool loot, a lot of quests to do. So, looking forward to it. As always, I want to thank you all for being here with me on the channel, watching some Pathfinder Kingmaker. I hope you guys are liking it. Uh, questions, suggestions, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. Many more videos coming out soon. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.